Ooh, I see some color. Holy moly. This here behind me is my favorite dredging hole. I was hoping to come do some crevicing. But as you can see, the river came up. And boy, is it raging. We usually swim down in here. an old bench deposit high above the river um, as you can see behind me there's all this bedrock now we have to select a crack or crevice to work in this bedrock now you can see uh, there's cracks here uh, there's one that goes like this but it's not very pronounced so this whole bench here all of this is exposed bedrock high above the river the river flows this way now this crack runs somewhat with the river so it wouldn't be a good crack to focus on. We're gonna look and see, um, find the best crack we can and work it. So here, this white quartz, you know, it's really fractured. I bet you there's a bunch of little gold. So we're gonna try to find a crack that goes in this direction, uh, perpendicular to the river. Realistically, there could be gold in all these flakes. You know, you can come in here and you know, scratch this stuff off, pry off pieces, and a lot of times the gold will be right under there. Like this flake, for example, you see that? It just lifts right up. I bet you that's some decent material right in there. We'll leave that for another day. Here, I found a rock that's more um, decomposed. It's just falling apart granite, you can just see. And then this granite here is a little bit more solid. That chunk hasn't moved in ages. There's a nice big crack, fairly perpendicular to the river. Um, now I think we could probably pry this chunk and this chunk out and get down in this crevice. So let's give it a whack and see what we get. Today we're using just the tools we had in our truck. Uh, we had a regular little hammer. Uh, Kit Spa, super handy for breaking up bedrock. Popped right off. So we're just gonna chisel away at this bedrock piece by piece so we can get down into that crevice. Regular old little brush and a toothbrush. So all this material, there's just a little bit here sticking to the rock. All of this is good. We want all that. see we only get a little bit of material but this is the high grade that's in those cracks and crevices Let's give it an old kickaroo Ooh, that one's in there good we just keep working at it wherever we can get things loose So we got a little stuck. Uh, the ground's frozen underneath this, so we're only gonna clean out this pocket and then we're gonna find some other easier ones. We break up the bottom and you can see down here, there's a little bit of clay right down in, this, in the bottom of this crevice is where the finest and the heavies are settling. So you wanna make sure to get all of that out. Well, I'm finding that a bunch of these Boulders are still frozen into the ground, so it's limiting what I can work. But you can see here, there appears to be a crack um, that's somewhat perpendicular to the river. If you stab it in, 
you can see that goes down in there and there's some nice material. Also, all this fractured bedrock is moving, so we're gonna clear this off, you know, keeping the material from between the cracks. We're gonna get rid of this guy and work our way down. So we wanna clean off these cracks into our pan. So as we pull out this bedrock, you can see there's this material that's stuck between the cracks. That's the stuff we want. So make sure to brush off your rocks really well. Popped it. So you can see I popped this rock loose, but there's all this fine, look at this fine strip of clay and gravel between the cracks. This is the stuff you want. You can see it's moving. Whoa, all right. This thing's super rotten. Probably a bunch of gold sticking in it. Yeah. Well, so that's a big old decomposed piece of uh, granite. There's some huge mica books in it which is a type of fool's gold. These are biotite, they're black. So actually, it's kind of interesting. The seam that's going down here it's in a seam of uh, mica biotite, so it's really uh, fractury. You know, weathers away very easily, and that's how this particular crack formed. So we're gonna continue cleaning all this material out, and then we're gonna pan it. We're on our final stage of scraping. and there's a big layer of clay right on this plane. So we're gonna scrape all that off and take these pans to the river. As you can see, the bedrock, it outcrops up there, tapers down, then there's a bench. We're right on the edge of this bench. We just dug out this whole little area. And you can see we're, woo, we're right below some old timers' uh, tailings. This is small scale workings, but they worked out much of this bench and this looked like an area that hadn't been disturbed. We had a nice crack in that mica. And here we have it. The way this crack formed in a geological sense is that this uh, massive quartz is included with uh, mica books, you can see here. Um, but here, there was a huge pocket of pure mica. And this is a uh, biotite mica, the black kind. So this is pretty wild. And you can see the seam runs from here down to here and then along the main crack. So that's what eroded away and created this gold trap crevice. Let's start with this big one, then I'll switch to a point of view camera. You can see all that clay just washing off into the water. So we gotta make sure to really wash these rocks off well before we chuck them. Look at that. It's a monster. 
you can see all the mica, the little mica flakes and mica books, a lot of this light quartz. So this is gonna be relatively easy to pan. But we did find that one huge magnetite, so who knows, there might be a pile of magnetites at the bottom as well. Well, I guess before we go any further, so this pan is from the first rock we busted apart. So we're down to the bottom. We're gonna be taking a look in just a second. Oh man, I see a flake. So let's bring it over here and do a little swirl. Oh, there's a bunch of black sand, you can see. Ooh, look at that, there's two nice little garnets right there. Holy, look at that. I didn't even know that was there. Holy, nice. Cool. So we got one, two, garnet. There's a tiny little speck right there. So this pan is from the last crack we worked, which was that huge mica crevice. Off pretty easily. See that big one? See how it floats around? It's because it's so light. And then in the water, instead of sinking right away, the micas just float, float down, and cover all this. Ooh, I see some color. Holy moly! A nice little pile of black sands. Oh, this is gonna be a good one. Loaded. Damn. They're all like picker, pickery flakes. You know, these are kind of little nuggets. And then these guys are all a little bit coarser. There's only a little bit of really fine gold. Interesting. Look at that. That's insane. So I just found this really sweet yellow and blood red and it's got some quartz on it, Jasper. Plus this, just lay in here, look at this thing. Look at this pattern. That's a beautiful piece gonna come home with us.